Oh, you see that? That is the blade that I'm looking for. Here with Hazen, we're looking for stones that you can break apart, make little blades out of. There's no stores to get knives, but this is a place to make knives. Yeah, that's kitschy. We're gonna be looking today for uh, rocks that you can make little blades out of. I encourage you to definitely try this technique where you are, that's the whole point. Let's get started. Uh, I'm saving it. <clears throat> looking for still more rocks that would be good candidates for making good blades, even, even like arrowheads. Now you've probably seen those cool stone arrowheads and spear points used by Native Americans, but have you ever thought where you'd start making one of those? Well, the first step is simply realizing what kind of rocks are around you and which ones can be used and can't be used for arrowheads. And that's basically what we're trying to do today. There's some ways to kind of identify some different rocks. And you can see there's all these like little micro cracks and things like that probably indicates that if you were to try to crack this rock, it's gonna crack up into a whole bunch of different places. The primary rock that is here is quartzite. Now let me stop right there to explain this rock, quartzite. I get we should probably have a bigger geology lesson to explain much of this, but quartzite is essentially formed when quartz sand granules get cemented together into sedimentary rock. And then through a little bit more heat and pressure underground get turned into this stronger metamorphic rock known as quartzite. And hopefully you've taken an earth science course and that made a little bit of sense. But if not, the gist of it is that quartzite is composed of silica, which is also what glass is made out of. And we all know that's sharp. In the past, people would find rocks like this out of quartzite or maybe flint or chert or obsidian for their stone blades. And those are some of the stones we're looking for. And it's why it's good that we have quartzite here. So we know this is quartzite. That's a good sign. Uh, quartzite has a lot of potential. Uh, these are not the exact rocks. I'm still looking. I've got a lot of rocks to choose from, so I can try multiple times. A lot of trial and error. These rocks are made out of silica, which is glass. Under more heat and pressure in the right conditions, this can basically turn into even stronger glass-like materials. <clears throat> but with this, this is a, just a good start to kind of show you what these rocks are like. Taking a rock that's like this, probably pretty glassy okay it's starting to crumble and here are the flakes here so it broke off there and again it's like that rock over there it has a lot of like micro cracks in it so that's why it crumbled into a lot of different little pieces but don't be scared Remember how I was saying it was kind of like a little bit translucent? Light does pass through there. So it's on its, it was on its way to becoming even glassier, but because it's made out of glass, that breaks like a shard of glass. Quick and dirty makeshift razor blade. I mean, more or less, it's, it's, it's really sharp. It's so hard that it winds up breaking apart. So they're kind of disposable. But as you can see, there's a lot of potential little razor blades. And sometimes you just need like little things. And, and that's what a lot of the native people would do. They, they would, if you had a big leg of deer that just got done cooking, you don't have a lot of knives and stuff to, cook, cook, to cut it. You can basically eat it and cut it at the same time and eat it that way. It's another style of eating, but other places in the world, that's pretty common, common place. If I had something to cut, my mom just bought me a bunch of brand new clothes, so I don't really want to cut them up. The, the, this isn't going to be a great example, but you know, like just something like this. Yeah, it's easy. I know it's not like it's a leaf. It's not a big deal, but try it. This is good learning. But even though that looked pretty basic, when you start using it and seeing how handy it is, you use it all the time. And then what I'm saying is more valuable, hopefully. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, you see that? That just chipped off. That is the blade that I'm looking for because that would have been really sharp and I lost it. I keep losing my flakes. Yeah, I got it, it's right here. Okay, sweet. Yeah, still pretty crystalline, but a really, really quick blade. This is better than nothing. I mean, if you look over here, 
you know, that cuts it. Of course, it's not nearly as good as steel blade. In a desperate situation, they're pretty good scrapers. And that's all we're looking at in this episode. We're not gonna go into flint napping or how to break a rock into actual blades. We'll save that for future episodes. But I did wanna start this by just giving you a feel for what you might be looking for. I love hanging out with Hazen. Uh, I love hanging out with you. I'm gonna leave more links to what he's doing down below. Uh, what are you doing now, Hazen, for people that you can tell? You can't tell everybody what he's doing all the time. It's but a lot of times hot, top secret. It's top secret. <laughs> <laughs> but has, it's cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Hazen and I go back to, uh, like 16 years or something now. God, We've been dude, doing this least. for a long time. We started Untamed Science together. Yeah. So you that's, sold that's your history. sailboat. You sold your sailboat that you were living in and used that money to make a science documentary about nature to show the whole world how amazing nature is and biodiversity. Somehow you found me <laughs> and we've been besties ever since, I really. Know. Really, I know. it's been awesome. And, and uh, usually I'm the one that carries the camera around and he's usually the one that wanders off and I'm like, hey, Zen, get <laughs> back here. God, ADD. we have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Um, Let's do lots more. We're yeah, we'll we're gonna be doing. More. We got a whole bunch with Hazen. Okay. I mean, we, we're following around experts all over the country. That's kind of the point. I'm excited about this. I hope you are too, and we'll see you in the next one.